Hey! Randall should be the one laying there, not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, will go down to zero. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. One. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Birdo, no. He was a mutiny! <laughs> Bojo, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is out. How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete shouldn't be so trusting. 
People will always let you down. Not always, Michonne. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. So, it'd be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. Oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up, defenseless. He got what he deserved. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I should have killed Randall myself. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well, as long as you got what you wanted, right? Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed. I know, I know. Pick you up, don't know. Michelle. Wait. You hear that? Answer me now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't- Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? And I hope you weren't lying about him being okay. Look, you don't owe me anything, but please... We have to get them back. Stop worrying. I didn't touch him. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us.
She's coming here for her brother. And she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. We just need to fool Norma long enough to get our friends back. Then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? Sam! Sam, stop. Uh, uh, You're gonna hurt yourself. Uh, 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 God damn it. Uh, Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I. I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her and Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. It 
Rosie. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Sam needs you right now. Go, help her. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Here, Pete. Thanks. Is that music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. 
The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off, too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, your dad didn't become one of them. He's still your dad. It's not fair. It's gonna be okay, Alex. I promise. Your sister, James, they'll look out for you. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain I love you more than anything, Sophie. They look really happy together. I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You can't leave James and Alex. They've lost enough today. I know. I know. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them.
or Greg. Oh, Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. I, I think it should just be family here. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore, no matter how much you want it to. Hey, I decided to stay. For the kids. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Are you gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. Are you sure? 
Not really. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that! Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there, I got your back. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. Be ready to fight when I tell you. You got it. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. I'm not really interested in hearing what you have to say. I just want my people back. And you'll get them. Just give me a chance. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like... Everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You'll get Randall after you hand over my friends. After everything you've done, you expect me to simply hand over your friends. Just like that. Careful, Michelle. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Daddy, stop! They should be dead! That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet! My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. Nah. Show me, Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Randall! <laughs> you wanna try that again? Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! <laughs> Virgil! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. Please. They shot her! G Gabby! Fuck! Fuck! No. Oh, run! Go! Go! Uh. Uh. 
control now! Get that gate open! Hurry! Stop her!
safe. Stay, but I can't. Why? It's complicated. My job. It... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex. What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Your mother already made up her mind. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Michelle!
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. Give them time. They've lost a lot today. We made it up, but they need time to grieve those that did it. Sam's death, it was my fault. She stayed behind, tried to get me to leave, but I wouldn't go. It'll be harder out there without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Yeah, I'm going to miss him too. I know this has been hard on you. In more ways than one. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. But what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out of it. I could just hear you screaming. I almost didn't make it out. The place was burning to the ground and I couldn't find anyone. I was just disoriented. You're not telling me everything. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, they weren't angry. I held them, and they hugged me back. It felt real. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You'll have lost your chance. Don't keep making the same mistake. Come on. Your bruise will fade 
and your bones didn't break But your love drags me down Like the clothes when you swim Down, deeper down Like the roots of old trees I shiver cause I'm cold But you don't wanna know 